Welcome to Gardening with Daddy Pete. Let's join our host, Melvin York. Hello, everyone. This is Melvin York, and you're listening to Gardening with Daddy Pete. And here today, I would uh, like to talk to you on a different subject or a little bit of a different subject than what we usually talk about. And uh, today, it's going to be living healthy and what we can do um, to do that in a way that we can afford it, uh, what's the benefits of it, and uh, how that uh, your garden will play a, a big part of this. Now, I've been doing some research and some studying on this, so uh, we, we you will be hearing more about this over uh, the next few weeks and months as I go into deeper doing some research on uh, different types of what I'm getting ready to talk about. Uh, recently, which uh, last weekend I was in Nashville, Tennessee, that was before the 4th of July, and the temperatures there were in the upper 90s. Heat index was in the 100s plus. Um, we were moving around. We had an event at the stadium. And uh, one thing I did find out of just how out of shape I am in and uh, some of the things that may be causing it. Now, we promote healthy eating. And uh, one thing that we do with our gardening series is show you how to grow and eat healthy foods as your vegetables and also your fruits that you can grow your own. You know that there's no preservatives. You know they're fresh when you pick them. But one thing we haven't, or I haven't spent a lot of time with on our podcast is talking about uh, the herbs and the benefits of the different herbs. Now, we can grow a lot of different herbs on how to preserve them, use them fresh, and the benefits of them. And that's some of the things I want to talk about. Um, here, I don't know, it's probably been a month ago, I started to look into medicinal herbs and herb gardening. Uh, just for the fact of medicinal purposes. Now, today we live in a society where everybody goes uh, to the doctor and we take a pill for this or we take a pill for that and we take a pill for something else. Years ago, I was diagnosed with hypertension. And uh, one of the things that I always liked because I did grew up or I grew up in the country and uh, we always did have a fresh or a supply or a red, readily supply of pork. So a country ham biscuit was always one of my favorite things or um, sausage, bacon. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so the doctor asked me what was my eating habits? What did I do? And he says, because you're showing hypertension, your blood pressure's a little high. I said, well, I have a ham biscuit usually every morning or either sausage. And he says, well, you know, that's not really good. That causes that. And I says, well, uh, doc, do you not have a pill for that? He said, oh, yeah, we got pills for it. So at my younger age, I opted out for the pill instead of changing diets and doing things. As I'm getting older now, I'm finding out that there are better ways than taking uh, pills from drugstores, taking pills for things. And that's kind of the things that we want to focus on there. We want the healthy lifestyle. And that goes along with eating healthy, growing your foods. You, you know, we're doing this so we will be healthy and make sure that we do uh, hopefully ward off any disease because eating healthy does uh, keep us from getting into some of these uh, situations where we do have high blood sugar, hypertension, and not everything that we eat or can eat can stop this from coming because there's some things that's hereditary. But our main goal is to help us, if we're not going down that road, to stay from going down that road of bad health. Uh, one thing that I've looked at here uh, lately, and I've been doing a lot of research on it, is a medicinal herb garden. Now, uh, we all grow herbs, or, and we do that usually for taste, or we want to add uh, herbs to this to enhance the flavor. We add it to this to enhance this. 
uh, just like that sausage I was talking about. I love to grow my own sage, uh, take kind of toast it a little bit when I make sausage, and I like a lot of it in it. Sage is something that I really like, um, among other herbs. But I was looking to where there were so many other different uh, herbs and what they were doing, and that's what I'm learning about now. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you on maybe some of these herbs will replace some of the medicines we're taking or keep us from taking some medicines. Now, I am not a doctor. I am not prescribing herbs. I want you to know that right now. Uh, but I do want to give you all the information that I find and then make your own decision and whether you use herbs or by all means, if you're taking any kind of prescription drugs, you want to uh, verify and clarify everything with your uh, personal doctor before you do anything. But uh, we'll still go on with it. One thing that I was finding out, I don't know, some of you guys are older and you're coffee drinkers. There used to be a coffee out called Louisiana Coffee, and it had chicory in it. it had chicory in it. And the reason I bring that up is because one of the herbs that a lot of people are growing, and they got to where they didn't, they kind of faded away. Just about everybody used to grow chicory up until the 50s. They kind of faded out into the 60s, 70s, and all now. And it's because chicory was a known um, painkiller. Uh, the roots of that, the way they prepared it, would be a known painkiller. Uh, but now we're into the world where we go get uh, Tylenol or we go get ibuprofen or we get uh, a prescription pain pill to ease the pain in our joints and whatever's hurting us. So now we're in the world of that. And we're getting uh, a drug that we really don't know what's in. You can get a brand name. You can get a generic name. But what if you could grow your own and it actually worked? Again, this is something that you have to try, something that you have to, for sure, make sure that you make your doctor aware of before you start uh, going off any medications. So that's just one of the things that I found out about. There is so much more for bee stings. There's a different uh, a variety of different plants that work for that, for joint pain. Uh, and for joints, there's a different variety of, of plants or herbs that will, you can make the remedies out of that for coughs, for colds. Uh, so it's just a world of doing that that can be grown in your own garden. Just think about it. If we did, this is a lost technique, but uh, I'll give you a good example. Uh, my wife is a long haul COVID victim. And that is one of the worst things that I've seen that people can contract after this COVID is the long haul symptoms and what they go through. Uh, her feet tend to swell up a lot. Um, even though they may give a fluid pill, they give this, they do that, stay off, stay on, walk, exercise, it still happens. So my daughter, well, she likes to use the uh, uh, herbal oils. She uses and will actually, my wife's feet and ankles will get to the point that they really swell bad, she will actually take, massage it in, and use the frankincense oil, and also uh, either the peppermint oil. Now, again, this is not a commercial for that. I'm not telling you to do that. You need to go to the doctor. I'm giving you an example of how things work. The next morning when she gets up, her ankles are down. Nothing else has changed except the massaging of that oil into her ankles. So there's something to that. And that's when I started to look into what's going on here. And this has been several months back. What are we missing here? Or are we missing the old ways? I've always been one that I listen to the older people and their remedies, their theories, the way they did things. 
because a lot of them to this day still works well. So my guess, my quest is to uh, get as much knowledge as I can and share with you guys on this medicinal herb garden. So what I'd like for you to do is simply this. I'm going to give you my email address. Um, if you're already doing it, if you've got any information, or if you're interested in it, I'd like for you to email me. Now, my email is real simple. It's Melvin, M-E-L-V as in victory, I-N, M-E-L-V-I-N, at daddy, D-A-D-D-Y, Pete's, P-E-T-E-S dot com. Real simple, Melvin at daddypeats.com. Please email me. Give me your comments. What do you think about this? What do you know about it? Have you done it? Has it been working for years? Did your parents do it? These are the things that I'd like to share with our listeners. And also, I would like as much knowledge as I can firsthand on this, just not everything coming off the internet or whatever. I do know that uh, there's some of the older people around that still do this. And maybe it's your grandmother, maybe it's your father, mother, whoever, but we would love to hear from you. Now, there's something else that you could do, and I think you'll find it very beneficial. Just go to our webpage, which is daddypeats.com, and click on our podcast because we do archive those. You can get all the information on the different subjects, and uh, we have those all there for you. There's a place there you can ask us a question, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you, even if it's about this. That's fine. If you want to do that instead of going the email route, we'd love to you know, have your comments or your questions. Also, while you're there, sign up for our newsletter. comes monthly, gives you all the garden tips for what's going on that month, some great recipes to use the stuff that you've grown there also. And, uh, you know, it's free. We do not whatsoever share email addresses is strictly between us so just thought maybe you might want to do that and i think you'll find that very beneficial to you also while you're there take a look at all of our different products and the uses and how they can help you uh, again at daddy pete's our slogan is we help you grow and we really do mean that our heart is to see people growing their own vegetables, their own fruit, their own herbs again. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, I do enjoy uh, doing these podcasts and hopefully that it is helping some people. So when people do shoot that email in or let me know and we get the emails saying, you know, that's great. That helped. And we love your product. These are things that, that really keeps us encouraged and going. So if you get a minute, just do that. Well, until next time, and we're going to be talking more and more uh, intensive on these medicinal herb gardening. So this is Gardening with Daddy Pete, your host, Melvin York, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining today's Gardening with Daddy Pete. You can check out our website at daddypeets.com for additional gardening tips and our podcast at gardeningwithdaddypete.podbean.com. You can also join us on Amazon, Apple, or Spotify.